Joining us now, Newberger Berman Managing Director Kevin McCarthy. Kevin, it's great to have you on, and what a name to have this week, may I just say, and get that out of the way. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm looking forward to when uh, this is no longer the punchline. Uh, uh, well, talk to me about Levi's, um, because, yes, they, 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 they beat on the bottom line, but slight miss on the top line. They've narrowed their guidance to, to the lower end of the range, guidance that was already representing a cut from what they had said previously. Um, and they're citing some weakness here in North America in the wholesale channel. How concerning is that? I mean, it's it's not dissimilar from the concern, I think, that's been reflected throughout the channel checks all quarter. Um, but it does take off the table the potential for, you know, this being a, like a Nike situation where there was abysmal sentiment. Um, and all they had to do is kind of directionally suggest that the that the wholesale environment had stabilized. Um, I think the silver lining here is that the, uh, the inventory situation is going in the right direction um, for Levi. Um, you know, they've had five quarters, five consecutive quarters of a negative sales to uh, inventory spread. So now I think the number was up 6% or so after up 18 last quarter. So directionally getting to a more balanced perspective. Um, but, I, you know, in general, this name, you know, you ask the question of whether or not the bottom line number matters. Not really. Um, mm. I, think, I think what matters here in this situation is, is like they need to provide conviction that the wholesale environment has, has at at a minimum, stabilized, and we're not going to see incremental styles going on sale across mass merchandise and department stores. And I think that's still a looming risk. Okay. Um, the fact that you have comments from Chip Berg, the CEO, basically saying that they're focused on the levers within their control and talking about the actions they took in the third quarter to begin to drive improvements. I mean, is that, is that a signal to the market and to investors that, you know, there's more cost cutting potentially that's going to come at this company? Well, I think I think Chip definitely wants to set up set the, the groundwork for success for for Michelle as as he kind of transfers the leadership here. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some element of you know a notion of you know cost cutting and trying to um, you know if there need to be needs to be further pruning that needs to be done to get to their mid teens kind of profit margin goals of the next several years. So. Um, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, you know, this is this is a brand with with some ambitions. There's not, you know, there's plenty of names out there in consumer land right now that have abysmal sentiment. Um, but there's probably only a handful of very high quality names with legitimate self help. And I think Levi is probably in that camp. Now, might it be a little too soon? Maybe. Yeah. So I think you probably have a little bit of time with this as the kind of the dust settles on on the wholesale side. Mm. Um, but they're doing smart things, you know, like they're implementing the ERP system. That's going to allow them to have more flexibility um, across channels and making more real time decisions across pricing there. OK. Um, so, you know, I, I think that they, they are taking the steps. But, you know, the things that we're looking out for, um, you know, for long term shareholders, you know, we want to know really more of the soft touch things yeah. like our. Are the service levels improving? Um, are they continuing to grow momentum with their women's category, which that's obviously a very important one. And then what everybody's focused on is, you know, is there any any sign of stabilization with their under $100,000 consumer across okay. the uh, mass merchant yeah. and uh, department stores?